Predator prevention. The Saginaw Catholic Diocese unveiling new measures to protect children from abuse. Thanks for watching the News at 5. I'm David Custer. And I'm Meg McLeod. The new security enhancements come as the diocese has added names of several priests who have been accused of abusing minors. As TV5's James Felton reports, the diocese is adamant the new guidelines have nothing to do with the recent scandals. The new guidelines that we have uh, uh, committed the diocese to represent an enhancement of what we already have in place. Bishop Walter Hurley has announced new measures to help protect children and vulnerable adults in the Saginaw Diocese. Recommended by the Diocesan Review Board, the new guidelines center around three changes. Criminal background checks will be renewed every six years. Fingerprinting in the schools has been expanded beyond those mandated by state law. And all employees of the diocese and volunteers who have regular contact with minors must be retrained in a child protection program every three years. It's part of the church being committed to protect children. And these are some of the best practices that are available. It's no secret the Saginaw Diocese has had a fair amount of controversy over the years. But Hurley tells me these recommendations have nothing to do with that. There's simply an orderly development, I think, of what has been taking place. It seemed they're seen to have, have value, and so we, we put them in place. Hurley says the Saginaw Diocese will never waver in its effort to ensure the safety of minors and all those entrusted to its care. He calls on the faithful to continue to pray for healing. In the meantime, these new measures will be implemented with one goal in mind. That uh, we continue to uh, uh, provide the, the best environment that we can for children and uh, adults in our par in our parishes. And Reporting in Saginaw County, James Felton, WNEM, TV5. Bishop Robert Grust will be installed as the newest leader of the diocese this Friday. Now count on TV5 both on air and online for continuing coverage.